I'm Action Jacqueline, and welcome to today's morning yoga full body class. This is the perfect video to wake up to. You can do this literally every single day because I recommend these stretches to be a part of your routine. It's going to help ease aches and pains, make you feel energized and rejuvenated and excited for your day. So let's go ahead and get started. Gonna start standing on our mat and let's just take a few moments to come into ourselves yoga is the experience of your body and this is about setting a great foundation for your day so just bring your hands to heart center I like to bring my thumbs towards my heart and chest and close your eyes for just a moment or two here and allow yourself to connect and when my thumbs are at my chest it's a little signal to me to lift my chest up higher because when you change your physiology, your psychology also changes. So when I lift my chest up, I feel more confident, I feel more proud. And so that's my little reminder to lift up, to be proud and own my own body, especially as I start my day. This is the perfect way to start your day. Good, and then open your eyes and take the feet out just a little bit. And we're going to take little side bends here and just allow yourself to be in your body, breathing, and just think about your day, how you want your day to go, imagining the most ideal day for yourself. Our imagination is so incredibly powerful because it can really set the tone and really guide us and make our day feel effortless when we first imagine it in our mind that helps to drop the resistance, help you to get on purpose, live your life with intention instead of being in reaction. Good, bring your feet together. And then reach the arms up overhead, clasp the hands together so fingers are clasped together. And I like to take my first finger and thumb out, reach it up overhead. Now the trick here is to not let the shoulders get too high. You wanna settle the shoulders down, draw the ribs down. Inhale in though. See if you can lift the sides of the waist, but not the shoulders. It takes practice. Make sure you're pressing through the whole palm. And then I want you to lift up, try to draw a big circle with those fingers. See how big you can draw the circle. Take a nice side bend. And up, let's go to the other side. This is amazing. If you're someone who ever experiences any sort of low back pain, because this is stretching out the sides of the waist, the hips, and the low back. And up. One more time, both sides. Inhale in, exhale. It's amazing how you can get warm through stretching, right? Because it increases the blood flow. That's what helps to rejuvenate the muscles. Inhale, exhale. Draw the shoulders down. Draw the ribs in. Belly button to spine. So you can go a little bit further. And up. Beautiful. Take the hands and just let them open. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, elbows wide. Inhale, let that head draw back. I'm gonna just turn to the side so you can see me. Exhale, and up. Nice, now take those hands and you can let the feet open a little bit. Clasp the hands behind you here and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now, if this is too challenging for you, you can just grab a towel and the towel will be that gap. It'll fill the gap for you there. But focus on drawing the shoulder blades down without compromising too much here in the torso. So let's see if you can draw the ribs down, tuck the tailbone under. Nice, and then just lift the chin and chest up from here. Ah, oh, this is so good especially first thing in the morning. And then let go of the hands there. And then take the hands on the thighs and just roll your chin towards your chest. You can bend your knees softly. Inhale, exhale, roll down. Soften the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, roll all the way down. Let the fingertips just glide along the shins to the toes. Release all the way down. Releasing, letting go every single breath. Inhale. And then grab onto opposite elbows and just take a nice little sway side to side, letting the lower back go. I get so much tension in my low back and this is one of my favorites for that. 
Good. And then let's come up the same way we came down. So just take those hands and kind of glide them up your shins, keeping the chin down, the chest, our chin in towards your chest, glide up, bending the knees, one vertebrae at a time, stacking it all the way up. Vertebrae, segmentation, good. Inhale in and exhale, good. Now let's clasp the hands behind us and let's forward fold with the hands clasped. So you can bend the knees, keep the chest reaching forward, spine is flat, roll all the way down and then release the arms overhead. This one is always so good, especially all of us are on our computers and phones. I used to say, if you're on your phone and computer, and now it's, it's everybody. So I just say, hey, this is good for everybody, right? Because we're all doing that. Okay. And then release the hands down. And then if you can straighten one leg, go ahead and straighten one leg and switch and switch and switch. Good, and slowly roll on up. One vertebrae at a time again and stand, nice. Now we're gonna bring the feet together. Just step the left foot back and we're gonna end up in a warrior one. So make sure you're splitting the middle of your mat. You don't want it to be on a tight rope. So you're on either side of the tight rope. Toes are forward. These toes are at a 45 degree angle. Pull up the arches and hold here, nice. Now you can continue holding here if this is enough for you, or you can add on. We can continue working the shoulders and clasping the hands here. Inhale in, exhale. We're gonna fold forward over the front of the leg. Inhale, moving nice and slow, warming up the body. Nice little waves all the way through. Feeling your body, connecting and grounding. There's nothing more powerful as far as setting your day up then connecting to your body. Many times anxiety and stress actually comes from feeling disconnected from ourselves. And so when you take a moment to ground and connect, all of that busy, chaotic, stressful energy goes away. Good, and then reach the arms up, look up towards the sky, palms together. See if you can balance here. And good, and then step all the way up towards the top of the mat. And let's go to the other side. Beautiful. Might even feel a nice hip stretch, front of the quad stretch, even a little bit of a calf stretch. That's why I love the warrior poses. They really get into all those little nooks and cranny of the leg. And let's clasp the hands behind us. Lift the chest up towards the sky. Inhale in, exhale, roll forward. Inhale in. Beautiful. Exhale like a wave, rolling through one vertebrae at a time. See how smooth you can get this. Allowing all these different parts of our body to stretch and move together. It doesn't have to look like anything. This is really just you moving and I'm guiding you through your body. Good. Circle the arms out and up. Palms pressed together, look up. Belly in, ribs down. See if you can lift up taller through the fingertips. Inhale, exhale, come and step towards the top of the mat. Beautiful. Now let's forward fold all the way down. Hands come to the floor, step it back, high plank pose, and then lower all the way down to the ground. Good. Now we're gonna place our hands. This is one of my favorite stretches here. Really good for tight shoulders and chest, which we all have from being on the computer, like I said earlier. And you're just gonna lift up and twist, lift up and twist. So you're gonna get this little nice shoulder roll. It kind of rolls forward and up. So we're getting a nice um, spinal stretch as we also stretch our chest. Good, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Then place the hands here and then just push yourself up. Just kind of allowing yourself to be a little lazy in it. It doesn't have to look anyway, but just go side to side. Oh, this feels really, really good. Stretching the sides. And then you're going to pull one knee up. I love this one. I, it doesn't 
it's not really yoga. It's just a, just a stretch. <laughs> if there's no formal yoga name is what I mean, but it just feels really, really good. Nice, because it really opens up the hip, inner thigh, and let's go to the other side. So lift that knee up and just kind of move around, right? Just see what it feels like. It's kind of like a half frog pose. Nice, and then release the leg back and come all the way up into your high plank pose. Walk yourself all the way up to the top of the mat and then slowly roll yourself up. Good, and then turn to face the front. Legs are nice and wide, so we're gonna step it out into this big wide uh, stance. Big inhale in, inhale up. Exhale, really connecting with your body. Maybe even closing your eyes. Just feel what it feels like to feel your feet on the ground, to feel your legs strong, to feel and notice and hear your own breath. Good, and then take the hands, clasp, you, clasp them behind you just like we did earlier. And we're gonna forward fold right here, all the way down. Now here, let the hands just fall over the head. And then I want you to actually let the shoulders go. Let the shoulders go up into the ears. So the scapula is actually drawing down towards the floor. You're stretching this whole shoulder blade here. So it might feel kind of weird, but it's so good to stretch all those little muscles there in this reverse direction, right? Couple more breaths here. And then release that right there. And then place the hands on the ground so you're like in this little tripod. And then if you can, you can reach your head all the way to the floor. Now I like to really feel my feet on the ground. I like to feel the outside edges of my feet on the floor. And then I even give a little squeeze of my inner thighs to help support the pose. Now if you're into headstands and everything like that, this would be a perfect place to, to go for that right now, if you'd like. Otherwise I'm gonna stay right here. Good. And then come on up, place the hands directly underneath the shoulders and then let's take a twist. Try not to let the hips go too much. So keep the hips square, lift up, inhale. Ah, oh, feels so good. Place the hand down and then let's go to the other side. Inhale in. And exhale. One more time. Inhale in. Exhale. Inhale in. Keep the hips nice and square. And down, nice. Right from here, we're just gonna lunge it out. Just a few little lunges, keeping the foot exactly where it is, opening the groin and the inner thighs even more as you get ready for your day. This is really good for the hips here. I know I get so many, so many requests for hip openers. This is a really good one. Good, and then still keep that little bit of strength through the inner thighs. Good, for four and three. And two, and one. Good, straighten out the legs. And then place the hands on the hips, lengthen through the spine, draw the ribs in, and come up with a straight back all the way up towards the top of the mat. And then heel, toe, and then just jump the feet all the way together. Bringing the hands back towards the chest, right where we started. Remember the hands help to signal to keep yourself tall, confident, and proud. And just close your eyes for a moment, recalling on your intention that we set. Just imagining the best day ever ahead of you. You did an amazing job showing up for you, moving your body. I can't wait to see you again back here on the mat. Namaste. Beautiful work. I'm Action Jacqueline. Make sure that you subscribe and like this video. Let me know how this was for you. And definitely check out all the other videos I have, yoga and bar videos, and I hope you have the most amazing day ever. All right, bye.